Hello, journal. The funeral was today. Mum and Dad dressed all in black. They even brought a black romper for Ben. I didn't want to wear black. Graham thought black was depressing. That life was... dark enough already. Gran always used to say Colours are the music of nature. I'm starting to see what she meant. So I went to open my wardrobe. There it was. I hadn't worn it for years. I remember Gran saying it was... Cheery. The funeral was outside. In the memorial garden. The sun was shining. The birds were singing. It was like they didn't know. The vicar had just started talking when Uncle Alan stepped into the fish pond. I couldn't help but imagine Cran caring more about the fish than Uncle Alan. Picture stuck in my head. Gran running to the drenched Uncle Alan, grumbling at him for frightening the fish. It was too much. The laughter bubbled up inside me. Tad tried to look annoyed. After the vicar finally finished droning on, we started the singing. All things bright and beautiful. <laughs> ben started wailing. No, howling. Dad took him out. Well played, Ben. Laughing felt much better than crying. The wake was at our place. There were so many people. I didn't know most of them. Everyone said how sorry they were. How Gran was. Such a wonderful lady. I wish she could have heard them.
Everyone had a story about Gran. Like the time she hit a bully with her pencil box? Or when she saved a toad that had hurt its leg? She decorated Mum's room like an underwater kingdom, so she could feel like a mermaid. That's so like her. One old lady told me how they used to bunk off work and go to the Glastonbury Music Festival. Another of her friends said Gran once got arrested. While protesting wailing. this day to be terrible journal and it was but I didn't expect to smile or laugh to be surprised to feel happy that people loved Gran like I did each time I heard a story about Gran, I could imagine her laughing along with it. It was like she was there with me, helping me through it. I still feel in pieces, Journal. Maybe there's a part of me that will always be sad, that will always miss her. But maybe that's okay. And that's the way it should be. I don't know what happens after we die. But I think I know where we go. Into all the people who have ever cared about us. We make a sort of place for them in our hearts. I need to finish Robin's story. Gran would want me to. I want me to. I think I know what to do now. Let's summarize. After the dragon attacked her village, the smart Robin set out to return the fireflies. 
On her travels, she met a grumpy djinn guarding a fallen city of philosophers and found a lonely fire creature named Lump. They became friends. But then, Lump chose to stay behind with the Ancient Ones in exchange for the gift of water breathing. Deep under the water, inside the lost Seekin Palace, chased by the shadow of remorse, Robin had her big moment of doubt. But she pulled through it all. And now she is ready to face the dragon. Okay. You're part of this adventure. Part of me. Thank you. Now. I will find the truth. I'm coming for you, dragon. With her confidence renewed, a newfound power coursed through her. I feel like I can do... anything. Tall tower loomed overhead. 
Many moons had shone above since first it was built. Another obstacle? Ha! Unbound, defiant, it drew her to it. Her foe rose before her. No breath in its body, but no less terrifying. Nothing's moving. Must be more to do. Thank you. 
A gust of fresh air rewarded Robin's efforts. As she rose up the stairs, Robin knew the tower's purpose. To watch over a long forgotten land should ancient evil stir. No statue this time, but bone. Fire-wreathed home, waiting. There you are! And here I come! Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But it was a great idea! The world darkened around Robin. She had reached the Dragon's Mountain. For the first time, Robin felt no fear. She knew she had all she needed. <laughs> Feels warm on my souls. Before her, a molten sea stretched into the distance. It did not slow her down. I laugh in the face of lava. Suddenly, Robin no longer felt the heat. In its stead, a cold dread crept up her spine.
This looks like my village. But it can't be. It's a trick. It has to be. An eerily familiar sight awaited her. That's my house. How? Eldereva! No! Wait! Come back! Oh, no! No, no! Her thoughts raced ahead of her. This can't be real. A trick. I can't let it be real. She gripped the chain with furious determination. I know you're there! Roar all you like! It won't stop me! between rage and regret. Robin pushed ever upwards. Even through adversity within and without, her determination shone bright. She had grown.
Almost there. Chilling winds shook her to the bone. Still she climbed. Stride, pushing against. Storm. And snow. Defiant. Unwavering. to live up to what you've done. But it was just so hard. Lump, see how far you come. You grown big. Lump did right thing. Don't go! Have to, Robin. But we'll always be there in the memory. I'll make sure to keep you there. Goodbye, little lump. Finally, Robin readied herself for a confrontation. When she first set out, Robin wanted to understand why these terrible events had happened. But now she realized that, regardless of how her adventure ended, the journey had forever changed her. Standing there, she felt... A wonderful sense of serenity washed over her. She was at peace with her choices. She no longer feared the darkness. Show yourself! I am here to do what must be done. I want to 
no. Why did all of this happen? Why did you do this? Why? No one should ask why I'm afraid. It is what I do. I cannot let you keep doing what you are doing. You cannot win this battle. Be gone! One person can make a difference. I know that now. You have been reading the wrong stories, little one. Sometimes things just... end. You 
can change things. What? Why? You can't hurt me. I did not aim for you. Some things are not to be changed, not to be stopped. They must be accepted. I can't. I can't accept this. What happened? It's all gone, I'm afraid. It can't be just gone. Why couldn't I do anything? Why couldn't I save it? There was nothing to be done. Everything has a time to go, even words. But I don't want that. I feel like a failure. <laughs> That's silly. You didn't fail because you couldn't win. I couldn't. The dragon is part of the world cycle. It cannot be broken. Then, what was the point of all of this? I failed before I even started. You recovered the fireflies. Ancient energies born of the same cycle. Between you, them, and your book... <laughs> you'll work it out. Wait! What do you mean? There was only one place left to look.